crazy crew welcome back so this video is going to be anel versus uta i was playing anel and i had not encountered the uta deck yet or seen anybody play it a lot of the stuff that happens in this is, was definitely a surprise for me uh he won the dice roll so he chose to go second i was going first flipped to dawn and you do not draw on your first hand so i just pass so on his turn he rests the dawn Lays down New Genesis, and with New Genesis, if your leader is Uta, you get to search the top three cards of your deck and reveal a film card. If you find a film card, you can add it to your hand or, and return the rest of the cards to the bottom of your deck, and then set your Rested Dawn to active. So if you use it on to use this card, it's like you never even used it. It goes right back up. He ends up finding a promo card, and I asked him about it. He said they're really expensive, but he feels that they're needed to play this deck. So he pulls Bartolomeo, adds it to his hand, puts the other cards at the bottom of the deck, and rests Udon to play Trafalgar Law. And in the video here, I'm just reading the card because I'm not familiar with it. And Trafalgar Law, if you notice, it says activate main and has a one with a circle. That means that you need to rest one Dawn. If you want to use his activate main on any turn, could be when you play him in any consecutive turn. His activate main says you may return this character to your hand and then you can play one character with a cost of three from your hand. But since he didn't have the Dawn, he's going to pass the turn to me. Added the two Dawn. I took a little bit of time on my turn. And I ended up passing the turn. I don't remember if I had a Gedatsu, but you want to you want to keep that in mind because if you get one, you can pop any character on his board that is the same as his life cards. So right now he has five life cards. If he had a five cost character, I could just pop it if I had that. So I'm always just preparing for that scenario. So he ends up attaching Udon to Trafalgar Law and swinging a life. And because of this, he can activate main after I decide what I'm doing. And I counter out with Holy with 1k counter. He swings at me with Uta. And with Uta, her ability is activated when you attach one Don to her and you attack. So he attaches one Don, attacks, and he's able to look at the top card. And it is a Brook, which is a film card. In this scenario, he adds it to his hand. If it wasn't a film card, it would go to the bottom of the deck. And I took another life. No trigger. He's going to rest his extra dawn and do the activate main. When you have that one with a circle around it, that's going to cost you an extra dawn that is in your dawn area. He returns Trafalgar Law to hand and he plays Nami. So pretty much two extra free dawn for playing a three cost character. And I'm just reading Nami here. And I ended up playing Gadatsu and popping Nami, which is trash. And I wave goodbye to Nami. A little bit of humor in the card shop. And swing it five to life. And he counters out with his promo card again, the Bartolomeo. Oh, he's got six Dawn. Gonna attach two to Uta. Swing at life. Takes the top card. Another film card. Chopper. And I take. Hoping for a good trigger. And got lucky with a Sanji, which means I have to trash a card from my hand. But it also means you can swing with Sanji the next turn. Instead of having to wait an additional turn. And he's going to lay down four more done. Play Brook. On um, play Brook and play up to one film or straw hat character from a player's hand with a cost of three or less. And he did not play one, so I'm not sure if he didn't have one. I think he had one. Not sure exactly what happened there. Uh, refresh. Flip it down. And then I'm going to rest four down, play Ohm, searching for Holy in the top five cards of the deck. So if you find Holy there, you can just put it on the board or you can put it to your hand. Say you already have a Holy in your hand, then you can have another 1K counter. 
I end up finding a holy. And I'm going to put that on the board. We can use it the next turn. Right now, basically, the only ones you'd want to swing with would be like, would be Gadatsu and Anel. If you wanted to that turn, I'm swinging seven at leader at Uta. Takes no trigger. And seven again at Uta. And he's going to take. No trigger. I don't know if you saw the card he pulled. Good card for him. Little refresh. It's gonna have six dawn now. Going in at an I believe a Nell 5k. And I'm taking, just hoping for another good trigger but nothing worth playing, I guess. I'm gonna swing 6K with Uta at Arnell. Got another film card, so if you see his hand's getting pretty big. I counter out with Garatsu. The reason I do that is just because if I save Garatsu this turn, instead of having to play him the following turn, uh, wait an additional turn to attack with him. Plus he has three life cards. And if you notice, like the Brook is a four cost, so I wouldn't even be able to pop that. And he, he plays new Genesis once again. Again, looking at the top three cards for a film card. And he's going to choose another Nami. He's got a pretty stacked hand here. And resting seven Dawn to play Monkey D. Luffy, which is a blocker. And on play, you can play up to one film or Straw Hat Crew type character card with a cost of four or less from your hand. So he's spending seven Dawn playing this Luffy. He plays a Brook. And if you look at Brook's on play, it says on play, play up to one film or Straw Hat character with a cost of three or less. So he throws Nami out there. But basically, he spent seven Dawn and he got 14 Dawn value out of this because you have four for Brook and three for Nami. Pretty insane. So he built up his board really fast. Nice little chain there that, that he uh, did. Now I'm at nine Dawn, I think. Played a Yamato here. When you're down to one life, if you play a Yamato, you can pop a character that's equal to the life of both players. So in this case, it'd be four or less, and then you get to add one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. And here, I think I was just looking at his cards, trying to figure out what to do. Swung five at life. And six at life. And I'm gonna swing with Ohm. He blocks with Luffy. I swung with Holy. Now, when I was playing this, you know, hindsight's 2020. I'm not exactly sure what I was thinking because now that I'm looking at it, I don't think that was the right time to, you know, start swinging all those characters. But can't really recall exactly what I was thinking. You definitely would want to wait for the following hand at least, see what he would uh, put out on the board or what he would turn sideways and rest. He's going to swing with the Brook, and now that I think about it, that seems kind of like, you know, kind of like he's baiting me, like he wants me to attack the Brook, which I think I fell for, and he still has 10 down. Now, if you see what he's doing, this is exactly what you want to do when you play. If you're going to attack with your board, do that, and your leader, and wait until the end for you to use your Dawn in your play area, cost area. That way you keep the opponent guessing, which is ex exactly what he did. He swung at me with the other Brook, I took the life. No trigger. One with Uta. Pretty good battle going on here. No trigger. I'm kind of just building out my hand, but I think I had quite a few cards in there that were the same. I think like three Amaru's. 
part of Anel's ability, you have to discard a card from hand if you want to add one from the top of your deck. If you have no cards in hand, you would just add a card from the top of your deck over to your life area. You wouldn't even need to discard one. You don't really want to be in that position with no cards in hand. So this is the part that really threw me off. He plays this Dofi, this Doflamingo. It's a 10 drop, so it says on play, a total of up to three of your opponent's rested characters or leaders do not become active during your opponent's next refresh phase. So what that means is, if there are three, uh, this includes the leader, if you have the leader and two characters that are rested, like I have Ohm, Gerasu, and Anel, he freezes them. So on my next turn, I can't do anything. I can't use them to attack. So this is like pretty crazy. Very surprising to see, or was for me at least. I wasn't watching like Uta videos or anything like that. Kind of came out of left field. So he's going to freeze Ohm, Giratsu, and Anel, which is no bueno because that means I'm not going to attack with Thanji because he's a blocker that would leave Yamato. I was kind of just in disbelief, like what is going on? Definitely threw me off and I think kind of messed up my thinking for most of the game. So here, I think I play Shura. It's the only two costs I could think of. Or no, it's an Amaru. So I was adding three to Yamato and swinging 12. What was I swinging at? I think life. Oh, I was hoping he was going to block with Luffy. He didn't. And I played a Katakuri here. And with Katakuri, you can manipulate cards on either board. Uh, if you have a card on your board you want to put at the top of your life, you do that, and, or top or bottom. And I just did that to him, try to get Luffy out of there. But I think I was feeling okay, you know, at this point. I was kind of like, oh, well, all these cards are going to refresh next phase. Going to be good to go. Have an okay board. Got a um, couple 6Ks, 9K, the 8K. But he takes out my Yamato. And then he starts swinging with Brook. And I triggered a Shura. So with the Shura, you can search the top five cards and look for a Sky Island card other than Shura and add it to your hand. So that's usually how searchers go. You typically, as far as I know, I don't know of any where you can actually take the same searcher card if you find it. If it's like Rebecca, Bella Betty, what have you, you can't. And I just took a 2k counter Satori. Then you have to trash a card if you have in hand again, and then add from your deck over to your life. I'm going to Brook again. And I use that Satori. Swing it with life. Block with Sanji. And he's going to play another Delphi, another Delphimingo, number two, and freeze the cards again. And then he passes turn. Nice board. I decided to play a sure searcher. Don't rem remember exactly what I was looking for. Probably some counters or something stronger. <laughs> See. So that's what I was saying. At first I laid down the Shura and then I caught myself. You can't, you know, you can't search for a searcher, the same searcher card. So I put it back and then was seeing what else I could put. And there was an Anel, Rush Anel. Rested two more and played Amaru. And I added 3k to Shura. So now sure is 5k. 
And I did another Amaru. I was 8k. This is where I really started messing up. I think I swung at Brook. Yes, I did. See here, I should have actually gone after the Dolphy because it's the strongest one on the board. Exactly what I was thinking there. Maybe I thought it would be an easy kill. And then I think I swung 11 at the other brook. Pretty wacky. So he's going to attack my cat. Got a curry. And he's going to take it. And swinging at Ohm. For him, he could have swung at Ohm or Gadatsu. Pretty much same deal. And then going at Shura, just to clear my board. And he's very successful. And then he lays down another Dofi. If you see on the right, I added a little crown here because Dofi was the king of this matchup, 100%. Just building up. It's kind of like going against Big Mom with Katakuri. But Dofi freezing stuff is pretty nuts. So I ended up resting 7, playing Russianel, and I think I went at life again, so yeah, I should have gone Dofi. But he would have been able to counter out, anyway, he counters out of this, back, with two cards. And right here I'm just kind of grasping at straws, because I have the, the other two, you know, that are rested. And just swinging five at um, Yamato, he counters out. So if you see his board, he has 35k that he can swing at me. You know, three tens and then the five, the leader. So he swings uh, Tavon with Dolphy. Hook. Next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a better angle so you can see the cards. Swing and 10 again. Hook. And again. It's kind of a losing battle unless you get really lucky. I don't even think I saw any beige. Oh, and here I was just kind of joking like I was going to counter out. So I laid down three and, and then good game. But we were just talking about how nuts this was. Because he had, I think he had a couple other matchups. Like two or three with this deck before me. And the cards didn't fall like this for him. But against me it was more like we were we were both done playing in in the uh locals tournament and just looking for something to you know to do and i hadn't played against an Uta deck or anything so that was a pretty cool opportunity to see what it could do i was just asking him about it like hey man saying like this deck is nuts and congratulating him on a good job but hope you enjoyed that matchup if you're not subscribed please subscribe take care everybody peace out